Hi, my name is Mira. I hope you enjoy this video and you find it useful. Welcome. Today we're going to go through the steps of installing the Actuate iHub. The first thing that you're going to need is to download uh, the executable. Here are um, the URLs that you can use to download either the Windows installer, the Linux installer, or if you want to use it from a command line. Once you've downloaded um, that executable, we're going to go and double click on it to launch it. And while the contents of the package are, going to, are extracted, what it's going to do is going to open up a wizard, um, very much like you've probably seen um, before when installing other software packages. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click Next. Very important to read the license agreement. Um, when you have, you can accept the terms and click Next. And now it's going to go install some prerequisite components that are um, needed. Now we're going to do just the typical uh, installation. Um, and we're going to accept the destination folders as the default. And we're going to click Next. We have actually uh, bundled the PostgreSQL um, with the iHub. Um, however, if you do have a, pr a prerequisite or something that company that you require to have on the back end, we can connect to a DB2 back end, Oracle, Postgres, um, or SQL. We do need require uh, a system name, and in this case, we're just going to use the bundled uh, Postgres SQL, and we're going to call it Actuate One, and click Next. Here, you'll need to give it a password and confirm that password and click Next. Now we need to specify the license file. If you have an evaluation license or a license that you've purchased, I'm going to be using the one that I have purchased. I'm going to browse to that license and I'm going to click Next. Now, you can specify a different language that you'd like the application to come in or a time zone as well, um, uh, choosing whatever you like and click Next. We need to apply the password for the uh, user on, on the computer. And click Next. We want to grant them privileges. Now we need to give a password for the configuration console. And confirm that password and click next. <clears throat> we're gonna, these are the components going to set up, so we just click next. And now we're doing the software installation. Great, now that uh, the installation is complete, uh, the next thing it asks you is if you want to set up your PostgreSQL database. And then to do that, we do that through PG Admin. You want to say yes. Again, it gives you a great wizard. You click Next. And you read the uh, user license for PG Admin. Once you have, you accept the terms and you click Next. And click Next and install and once it's completed you click finish so now um, through the wizard we have set up uh, the iHub as well as the C Postgres SQL database we click finish and now to make sure that our in installation was successful we're going to run um, get go into the iHub We're going to log in. We're going to put in our password, uh, sorry, our username. And no password. So great, we can open up our um, BERT iHub. We're just going to check to make sure that uh, we can run um, some reports. If we go into our public domain, you'll notice that there are some examples in here already. We'll just access this folder here. 
um, just take any um, run any report at random and great we have successfully implemented the BERT iHub um, we have been able to run a report um, and make sure it's interactive and yes it is if you have any further questions you can contact me or you can get lots of great resources and examples on the BERT exchange Thank you so much for joining me today and watching the installation of the iHub.